Thanks for tuning in to this company profile of United Technologies Corp. UTC was founded in 1934 with the breakup of United Aircraft and Transport. This company is known for its wide range of products including carrier heating and air conditioning, Hamilton Sunstrand aerospace systems and industrial products, Otis elevators and escalators, Pratt and Whitney aircraft engines, Sikor Sky helicopters, UTC fire and security systems, and UTC power fuel cells. With operations worldwide, UTC gets 62% of its revenue from international sources. Mr. Louis Chenevert is the CEO of UTC, which has its headquarters in Hartford, Connecticut. The company's stock is listed on the New York Stock Exchange, where it is traded on the Dow and S&P indexes. United Technologies' vision for growth was based on strong global economic growth. Recently, a lot of their growth has come from military spending, specifically on helicopters through their Sikorsky division. The company was predicting strong growth for their businesses related to commercial aircrafts, but with the world caught up in this economic crunch and with the BRIC nations faltering, it looks like the economies that were going to provide their demand for commercial aircraft will not be there. The emerging markets that were growing at a quick rate before this slowdown were expected to help the company in both commercial construction and commercial aviation. Now it seems that the slower growth rates of these countries will be a negative factor for United Technologies. UTC is willing to grow both organically and through acquisition. United Technologies was expected global growth to fuel sales and profit, but these hopes have been shattered as the markets that have been resilient for the company weaken. The company relies on the U.S. real estate market for its carrier and Otis divisions, and with the once resilient U.S. commercial real estate market slowing down, the company will face major problems in the U.S. Another factor that could negatively affect the company is the Obama administration, which may cut military spending. If they do so, United Technologies will lose another portion of its revenue that had been increasing yearly since the beginning of the war in Afghanistan. As a result, the problems that United Technologies is faced with at the moment are not internal, rather external. The markets that once were strong and helped drive its growth and stock price are now weak, so the company cannot make a significant move upward without a few of its key markets improving. Thanks for watching. See you next time.